Hi everyone, and welcome back to our YouTube channel here at Woodland Frenchies. Today we got a good video for you guys. Zoe's excited, aren't you? Yeah, Zoe is excited. This is the mama of one of our Frenchton litters. And we're gonna be talking about them, showing them. Aren't we girly? And Zoe, just first off, Zoe is a very friendly mama, playful, sweet, got some good energy, and just is a sweetheart. So this litter is definitely gonna be very friendly, very active, as you can see, Zoe loves attention. She just loves to be played with. Yeah, and she wants to be the star of the show, obviously, in this video. <laughs> How come when we're just starting a YouTube video, you're ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> what an opening to the video. Let's <laughs> get your puppies. Let's go get your puppies. Just because I'm talking, you wanna, you wanna sit here. Good girl, no, you sit. You gotta sit. Zoe. <laughs> I know, go girl. Here's your puppy. Hey, here's your puppy. Here's your puppies. Here's one of your puppies, Zoe. So, as you guys are new to the video, or this channel, welcome. Again, we're gonna be doing a little update with the Frenchton puppies right now. And we're gonna just go ahead and get right into it. We got a male. Zoe, come here. Now, don't bother the camera person. Zoe, come here. Come here. Zoe, come here. Here's your puppy. Here's your puppy. So, this is a female. Uh, right here, or this is a male. This would be Zion right here. So some of these puppies are adopted. So if you guys want to check out woodlandfrenchies.com, go ahead and check them out. Check out our nursery page and click the Frenchtons. So this here is Zion. Our first puppy we're going to show you is pretty much a solid black right here. Come here, Zoe. Come here, Zoe. So that's Zion. And next we have a black brindle female, and this is Zyla. You can see a little bit of the brindle showing through on her coat. And Zoe does such a good job taking care of them. Don't you, Zoe? Hey, girly. Yeah, don't you, Zoe? Good girl. So that's the first two right there. So a male and a female. And next we have another male here. And this is a Merle. And up to our right here, I also got another litter of French which we'll be doing a video as well. Um, but yeah, this here is the Blue Merle male, and this here is Zane, I believe. Yeah, this is Zane. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, Zoe, come here. Come here, girlie. Here's your puppies. Here's your puppies. Zoe. Oh, did you like that? Yeah. Beautiful, solid Blue Merle coat to this guy. And we got a special puppy. I really, this last puppy we're going to show, I really, really, really love the coat color. And it's doing, it's probably the biggest one in the litter, drinking the most milk. But this here is our female next. This is another kind of a blue merle, chocolate merleish coat color right here. And this here is Libby. So this one is adopted and they already named her Libby. This, she is a sweetheart, definitely. Uh, I'd say one of the more laid back ones in the litter is what Libby is. She's just such a chill little girl. But definitely will be playful, but just a sweetheart, aren't you, really? Mm -hmm. The last one, like I said, is the biggest and got quite a bit of spunk to her. Uh, this is a brindle and this one here is, uh, this one would be, I think, is Zyla. Yeah, this is Zyla. So the other female was Xena. Yeah, Xena and Zyla. Hopefully I said that right at the beginning. But if you look at Zyla, you can just see she has such a beautiful, beautiful brindle color. Really, really stands out. She's one of the bigger ones. Aren't you a good? You got a nice black mask to her. And just got some spunk. So, hopefully you guys can enjoy this litter update with these guys here. So, watch them play a little bit. Wanted to bring Zoe in to show you the mama. Yeah, you got such a good litter. Such cute puppies. Yeah, good girl, Zoe. You're such a good girl. Yeah, you are. Um, any questions you guys have about this litter, feel free to comment below. And let us know on this video, which one is your favorite one? Was it Xena, Zion, Zyla, Zane, or Libby? And again, a few of these are still available. Yeah, they're still with Mama right now, not quite ready for the winning process. They were born on the 24th. So they are about four weeks old right now. Around five to six weeks is when we start the weaning process. When we uh, start give, introducing more of the solid, soft food. And you know, 
We start with the soft food, then we slowly go to the solid food. So, if you guys have any questions again on these French gins, let us know. And check our website out at woodlandfrenchies.com. And if you guys are new to the channel, definitely we would really, really appreciate if uh, you subscribe after this video. It's free. Just become a part of our community here to learn a lot about French gins, French bulldogs, and to see puppy litter updates and just any type of content that we can relate to the um, to this, we would definitely feel be happy to do so for you. Any questions you have? But yeah, good girl, good girl. And then be sure to stay tuned to our next video where we're going to introduce some of our other puppies. Where we have uh, two blue merles and three blues in that litter. This litter we don't have any blue French tins, uh, but we do have some merles. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? There's mama. There you go. Look at that. Good girl. <laughs> Come around and get that. Yeah. Maybe you're going the other way. Hey, oh, now you're moving. Yeah. Are you hungry? You guys hungry? Yeah. <laughs> uh, again, guys, we have two blue merles, two blacks, and a brindle. So you're just in the middle of the puppies. You like to be the center stage, don't you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Come here, come on the bed. Come on the bed. Yeah, there you go. There you go, good girl. Good girl. Yeah, you're such a good girl. And again, these are four weeks old. Our puppies are ready to go at eight weeks. So that's when they are bit completely eating solid food and big enough and strong enough to leave. So that's a big thing with French Bulldogs and French Gins. They are a little bit tougher to raise, and if they do any type of transportation and, or anything, you gotta definitely make sure they're on the solid food, because, um, yeah, just a little bit of stress can, can really um, do some, you know, just tougher on, the, on them for uh, any type of stress if something would occur. So, somebody chewed over here? I smell a little toot and toot. <laughs> Yeah, good puppies, good puppies. So again, guys, thanks for watching this update. We'd love for any feedback. Come here, come here, come here. Come get it, come get it. Do you love your puppies? Yeah, do you love your puppies? And we'd love to hear if you guys have any French gins or if you guys just adopted one. Love to hear about that. If you guys have adopted one or any questions you have about your French gin. I know a lot of people ask us, they get a puppy and and sometimes it's you know, maybe they get a French Bulldog and they ask if it is a French or not because sometimes the muzzles are they, the French Bulldog just doesn't, doesn't quite look like a French Bulldog so they're just questioning whether it's a French Bulldog or a French Den. With the French Dens they're going to have a little bit longer muzzle and a little bit smaller round, not quite as round a head as a French Bulldog. So really appreciate you guys watching this video. Next video, we'll have a litter update with Libby's, or Lily's litter. And again, there's two blue merles and a blue in that litter. Okay, if you're also say bye, Zoe. Say bye. Thanks, and have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe.